It's been a minute since y'all have seen me. Can you focus? Thank you very much. So, I'm waiting on my Uber. I forgot to bring the nails. I'm going out. I have, I'm have. i missing a thumb. And my other thumb. Oh, I'm just missing the two thumbs. I'm waiting on my Uber. I'm going out to like a late lunch. Yeah, I'm just like, it's very casual. You know, I just have a t-shirt and biker shorts on and my Yeezys. Nothing crazy. So yeah, I'll probably just check in with you guys when I get to lunch, to dinner, to lunch. Hi. I made it. I made it. Wow, look at you and look at me. I look like a bum. You look mad good. Look at, look at Miss Thing. Hi. Hi. We're at Eek Ramen. E-A-K Ramen. Taking my temperature. Thank you. Can I get, oh, I think I'm gonna get a lychee sour. Thank you. Which one do you recommend? I like a lychee sour too. <laughs> Time for me to do my nails and all my stuff is still not right here. here. Wow, look at her. <laughs> no. You just fit the whole vibe. No, is that appropriation? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I, I mean, one of don't these call me on that. <laughs> she gave them business. <laughs> Was the lady offended? Nah. I don't think so. Oh my god, should we leave? No. no. <laughs> You could, I think you should have nails on for the video yeah. shoot. And then you could always just pop them off and reuse it them. It hurts. How do you, you how do you reuse Your them? glue was mad, um, like weak sauce. <laughs> That's why I lost two. <laughs> the same two that I glued on the other night. Nobody told you to glue stuff <laughs> in the <laughs> This is like a, like a Japanese Moscato. Sparkling. Love that for me. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hold on. It's really this for me. And I love that place because it'd be like you pull up on a, a regular ass Monday and it's like rappers outside. Wow. I wish I was just cuter. Like literally. Am I trying to meet a rapper? No, you keep period. I don't know if I'm trying to meet a rapper. They be putting them girls through it. I'm not trying to be nobody's baby mother. Do you want to cry in a Nissan or? A <laughs> I want to cry. I want to cry in a race. I would love to. Ooh, that's cute. Is this considered lunch or dinner? Girls, dinner. <laughs> no way. Hold on. It's, it's, it's Linder. Linder. Or it's. Dunch. <laughs> Yo, it's everybody. You too. So much. Ooh. Watch this. Uh, I um, that looks so oh, good. My deep fried shrimp bun. That looks yummy. Mm. And then I got stir fried Brussels sprouts. And Mona got Tokyo ramen. chicken. Tokyo chicken ramen. I'm about to put some spicy in this place. We're just walking down Melrose right now. I said I wanted to go to the Sorella Boutique because I know it's on the strip. Black owned, black woman from LA. You know, I want a tattoo, low key. Like I want to get a tattoo. Oh, they're closed. Yeah. This is the Sorella Boutique. You know. I'm gonna definitely come back here when they're open. We ended up at a video shoot. <laughs> been a minute i think the last time i vlogged was i don't 
don't even remember when it was like, hey, that's a Tesla. Tesla, brand new. I see them all the time out here. Low key, you want one. Let's speak that into existence, shall we? I'm walking. I'm weak. I'm on the phone with China. She's yelling in my ear, talking about something. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? <laughs> I just left Target. Got what I needed. Now I'm about to go into Bath and Body Works. So they had me san hand sanitize my hands as soon as I walked in the store. And then I had pick I had to pick out my own shopping bag and put my stuff in there which is very like cute that they do that oh that smells this smells good this smells really good actually sparkling pear riesling that just smells so good Woo. okay i'm sorry that everything looks crazy let me zoom in a little okay so the first place i went to was Target, Target. I didn't go too crazy because I need to figure out what my like major furniture is gonna be, my bulk furniture before I go in and I buy like little things, like accent pieces and like little stuff. So I wasn't tempted. So I just got a tape measure, <laughs> this is boring, but I needed that. And I got an ice cube tray because I've been making myself iced coffee and I have no ice cubes. Um, then I went to Bath and Body Works. And I spent $40 on three candles. They were having 50% um, off, so each candle was like $12. So I got three different ones that I really liked. This one is Peach Bellini. Peach Bellini, the outside packaging is really cute. This is something like I would put in the kitchen, like by the doorway, so that when I first come in, I'm smelling it. it smells very fruity. Like it smells hella fruity, but in like the sweetest way possible. Like not overbearing. It just smells so good. Like I wanna drink it. Like that's how good this smells. Huh? And it's made with essential oils and it has a cute little like embroider. You guys, that was UPS calling. My packages are here. My stuff that I shipped myself last week, like all my stuff, like all my actual things are here. That's, it's 10 huge boxes and I'm gonna have to bring them in by myself. There's, I thought they were coming tomorrow cause that's what the tracking said. And I was gonna have Mona helped me move in my boxes, but now I'm gonna have to do it by myself. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna be here all, I'm not doing it in one night. Oh. So he's coming up now, the UPS guy. Why do my boxes look like this? <gasps> this is what $900 gets. Oh my gosh, this one is fragile. This one literally says kitchen, plates, mugs, and look at it. Chinese. Yes. Why did I just get my, like, okay, so I shipped seven, I mean, I, sh I shipped 10 packages of UPS and I just got seven of them. First of all, they were supposed to come tomorrow, but also second of all, they're literally beat the f up. Like they're like, the box that says fragile, like glass mugs thing is the most beat up. Like they was like, my like using like hockey sticks to transport my across America. No, no. If everything is broken, I'm gonna cry because I spent nine hundred dollars to ship my stuff from new york to california for it to arrive in pieces like that. That's what's happening. and he was like he was like i only have seven of your boxes i know it says 10 but i only have seven in my truck so maybe the rest will come tomorrow i was like maybe 
Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I don't even want to open them. I don't even want to open them. I don't want to open it. I'm about to open this box that has my my dishware. This is literally in shambles. So this is what survived my cross-country shipment <laughs> i had more plates and bowls and mugs but they all broke and this is what survived A lot. What you wear? Okay, so I was interrupted earlier when I was telling you guys about my candles. <laughs> um, I just finished washing pretty much all of my dishware and pots, and I just have it like set up to dry in my dishwasher. Um, <sighs> I'm tired. Ooh. And I still have like all those boxes to unbox and then there's more boxes coming tomorrow. It's crazy. Anyway, Peach Bellini, she's delicious. I'm actually gonna light her now that the kitchen is clean. I like lighting candles after I clean a space. Like I'll clean and then I'll light a candle and it's just, oh, the feeling that it gives me. By the way, if you didn't know this, like candles are like my favorite like thing when it comes to home decor. Like, I will literally have like 50 candles on deck one day. I would put that in like a room. Well, actually, I would put that in a kitchen because it's so fruity or a living space even. But I like something a bit more cozy for like living room spaces. And since I'm in a studio and one side of the room is going to be like my living room and then the other side is going to be my bed. I want it to be cozy, you know? I don't want it to be like too much. So I'm gonna leave the fruity one probably in the kitchen. And then I got white gardenia. This is from the White Barn line within Bath and Body Works. <sighs> this smells so clean. This smells amazing. Like. Oh, I love gardenia. Like, I don't know. It's just such a fresh smelling scent. It's so soft. This is gonna be perfect in my bathroom. Like, this is literally going to be perfect in my bathroom. Like, I cannot wait to light this. When I step out of the shower, when I'm in the shower and the steam and the candle are going, oh, 
I'm, I'm already in love, like legit, wow. And then the last one that I got was Vanilla Birch. This one I was not planning on getting, but then I smelled it. And this is gonna sound kind of weird, but like, it was like, this is like the perfect, <laughs> this is gonna sound so weird. No, I really like, I really like masculine scents too. Like, I remember when I used to work in Bloomingdale's, um, and my, the Mac counter was right across from the Dior counter, and they would have like the women's fragrances and the men's fragrances, and I always found myself like over in the men's fragrance section smelling the colognes. Like, I just love men's cologne. It just smells so good. I don't know, like, it just makes you feel like even if you don't got a man around, that there's a man around. Like, I don't know what that's about, but vanilla birch is like a little bit more on the masculine side. Like the vanilla is there, so it still smells like kind of sweet, but I'm guessing the birch, I don't know what birch is, but the birch, honey, it says white birch bark. Oh, okay, so it's the bark. It's birch bark, which is like woodsy, which is, you know, typically more of like a masculine scent. Madagascar vanilla, warm sandalwood with essential oils. <sighs> oh, this smells so good. This is actually probably gonna make me a little depressed because I'm gonna smell this and be like, dang, I don't got a dude though. Like, I don't got a man, but it smells like I do. This smells like someone I used to know. Just kidding. Actually, a couple of someone's. Ooh, since I cleaned the kitchen, I'm gonna light my kitchen candle. Yeah, so this one I would probably put next to my bed or even in my living room. I feel like this is like, it's not too masculine, but it's not too like sweet and like fruity and girly. It's like a very nice like middle ground. I think I'm just gonna put it on the stove. I'm like, I'm getting kind of hungry and I want to eat my leftovers from Sweet Green, but I also want to like finish cleaning before I do any like eating because I feel like when I sit down to eat, I'm not going to want to get back up to finish. So maybe I should continue organizing until I can't anymore. It's Tuesday. Um, I've been up probably, I've been up, it's like almost 12. I've been up since like nine something. No, I've been up since 8.30. I've been up for a while. I was responding to emails. I was going over like my analytics because I posted my video yesterday that announcing that like I moved and stuff and I was writing back to you guys. I was responding to comments and you guys are so, you guys are so sweet, like so supportive, so just nice. And I'm just like, wow, what did I ever do to deserve such great subscribers and followers and family? Like I call you guys my YouTube fam because it really just feels like a family unit. Like you guys are hella supportive. So shout out to you guys. Um, I did finish unpacking most of the boxes that I had received last night. So let's do like the ice cubes are like really dense and big and I love it. My moving vlog, the stoke, but I just leave it as is. Almond milk. And I just pour that on top. And then I would just mix it of course. This is why I need some reusable straws. I'm sitting outside. I went to go get myself. I went to the post office because I needed to ship a pack, some packages. 
for Destiny Shop and then I went and I got myself some sweet green. I had it yesterday and I was literally obsessed with it. It was so, so, so good. This is the first and probably the only thing I'll be eating today. It's the chicken parm pesto warm bowl. And instead of spinach, I get kale because I don't like spinach because it welts really quickly. But I love, love, love kale. Like I'm a kale diehard. I'm just like, something like scary just happened to me. I don't feel like talking about it right now. I'll probably tell you guys about it later, but my mood is just like, I'm a little shook up, you know? I just got back. Do I look tanner? I feel like I got a tan, low key. Yeah. You could tell, you could tell where my sunglasses were on my face. My forehead looks darker and the bottom half of my face looks darker, but like the middle where my sunglasses are because they're huge, I feel like you could tell. My Wi-Fi modem came. It was supposed to come on Thursday, but it came early, which I'm really happy about because this not having internet situation has been hella ghetto. And then I got another package. I got one of my packages that I shipped to myself. This one also came hella beat up. Let me turn on the light so you can see how beat up it is. I got my address showing, like, it's just a lot, you know? It's just a lot of unboxing that I'm doing because I'm getting all my stuff and I'm gonna be buying stuff soon too. I'm gonna, like, do some online furniture shopping after I set up my Wi-Fi, so I have Wi-Fi, and I'm gonna be looking at stuff i probably order some things. So I just did my skincare routine, my little nighttime skincare routine. I'm trying out some new products, so I don't want to tell you exactly what I used just yet. I mean, I would say my skin looks pretty good, so. I got these little um, hydrogel eye patches on. It's been a long day, but yeah, I'm just gonna watch Shameless with China on Netflix party and go to sleep and i'll talk to you guys in the morning guys i just got back from running errands with mama first i went to sally's because i need to buy like some nail stuff because i need to do my nails and i need to do mona's nails so i needed some stuff but i did go to trader joe's so i'm going to show you guys what i got from trader joe's because why not I mean, I love Trader Joe's so, so, so much. I got these plantain crisps. They're like really crunchy and they're very thick. I really like them. They're like tostones. So love these. I got kale, uncured turkey bacon. This cheese, this is called the unexpected cheddar cheese from Trader Joe's. This is really, really good. If you're a cheddar cheese lover like myself, You'll really like this. It has um, hints of Parmesan in it. I got these Chinese style pork buns. I first tried these um, when I was in New York and I saw them on TikTok. Somebody was raving about them on TikTok and I bought them and I love them. So I got some broccoli and tomatoes to go like in a salad. Teriyaki turkey jerky. This is one of my faves. This is a keto friendly snack. I got two kinds of pastas. This is lobster ravioli. And then this is mushroom and truffle ravioli. Three cheese pasta sauce to eat with my pasta. I got some extra virgin olive oil with garlic in it. I actually didn't know that it had garlic in it, but that's fine, I guess. Vegan Caesar salad dressing. And then I got some seasonings because I have no seasoning. So I got sea salt, like the one that you crack ground black pepper, garlic powder, smoked paprika, Parmesan cheese for my ravioli, the everything but the bagel sesame um, seasoning. I bought this and I left it in New York, but my mom was like obsessed with it after I bought it. It just has sea salt, garlic, and onion in it, but this tastes so good on avocado toast. These, these right here, if you like cashews, if you're a nuts person and you like coconut, you need to try these. Like these are so good. I was telling Mona when I was in Trader Joe's, like I can eat a whole bag of these in one sitting. Like this is like the perfect like Netflix snack that you're gonna put a movie on and you just need to eat something. But like you don't wanna feel bad about like snacking on something. Ciabatta rolls, but they're the everything seasoning. I got eggs, 
Dang, I got a lot of stuff. I got chicken burgers. I got so much stuff and it, it was not even expensive. That's crazy. Cauliflower gnocchi. TikTok made me buy this and I've had it and it's great. Great. But I got matcha green tea ice cream. Another thing that TikTok made me buy was this spiced chai concentrate. So this works the same way as like the iced coffee that I make that I showed you guys in my last vlog. But you just pour some of this in a cup with like ice and then you pour your almond milk on top or your coconut milk and it tastes so freaking good if you like chai like if you're a chai person honestly this is better than like buying one from starbucks watermelon cucumber juice because i got a bottle of tequila i got to um casamigos i got that to mix with the watermelon cucumber I feel like that's just gonna be like an orgasm in my mouth. I just got a bottle of rose. This was like $10, I think. Yeah, I never had it, but I feel like you can't go wrong with rose, so. That's all my stuff that I got from Trader Joe's, so I'm about to put it away. I'm about to make Mona a drink, because she says she wanna drink a little drinky drink. You guys, uh, I got Mona here. Look at her all laid <laughs> Let me see this hand. Oh, I'm doing her nails. So this is this is the side that I just laid the acrylic. I didn't file them yet. And then this is the filed hand. Wait, focus. They came out really good. Like mm -hmm. I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. You guys, I finished. You see the neon claws? They look really cute, good, clear. And then this is the thumb. They're really cute. Love that for you. Love that. Period. You are able to just execute so flawlessly. Period. Okay, so Mona just left and I'm about to make myself some food because a bitch is hungry. Um, I think I'm gonna do the lobster ravioli that I brought today. If you guys are enjoying this vlog, can I, can you give it a thumbs up like right now? Like if you haven't thumbs up this video yet, can you do it right now for me, please? Yo, I just realized I don't got no. I was gonna make eggs tomorrow. I don't got a spatula. I don't have like anything to scoop my pasta out. There's so much stuff I have to buy. <laughs> I needed a list. Like what I needed was a list of things that I needed to buy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Ow. I can't open it and I live by myself. <laughs> Y'all don't understand, like, if I can't get this open, I'm literally gonna cry. Like, I will legit cry. I'm so hungry right now. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, yes. It allows me to, like, pick up the food and just, I don't know, pasta can be really messy. Some Parmesan. What do the French say? Bon appetit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Bon appetit! <laughs> or is that Italian? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know. You can taste that there's lobster in it. That tastes so good. It's the slurping for me. Good morning, vlog! It is Thursday. I woke up. I've been up for a, a while actually. I tried to get the Telfar bag restocked. They've restocked the small black bag at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, which is 9 a.m. here. I had it in my cart. It was asking me the security thing. It was like when it shows you the six photos, no, the nine photos, and it's like select the ones with a bicycle in it. No, I'm not a robot, I'm a person. And in the time of me doing that and putting in my, I was having my shipping info. I was on the site for three minutes. I got on the site at nine and everything was sold out by 903. And I was like, <laughs> what? What? 
I want to listen to Drake and I want to make myself a nice coffee and maybe some breakfast since I bought groceries yesterday because I'm an adult. Love that. <laughs> Sweetie girl, it's the icy girl. She wanted to hang out for some, some time. She was like, I'm trying to hang out with someone that reminds me of the East Coast. So she pulled up, you know, West Coast, East Coast. You know. Um, but my video is set to go up in less than 15 minutes. Got that done. I'm actually really proud of myself. I wanted to only spend two hours on it, but it took me three hours total. And that is because I kept stopping. Like, I kept stopping, but I got it done. Did the voiceover and everything. Got my rose, my wine. I've got an ice cube in it because I like my, my wine cold. And I love Moscato and Riesling and even Pinot Grigio, but it has to be cold. It cannot be room temperature, it can't be like slightly warm. I need it to be like cold. Like. <laughs> you guys, right now it's, it's a vibe, okay? I'm drinking my rose in my new apartment in my wine glasses. Eating some cheese, cause wine and cheese, you know they go together. I've got my lavender aromatherapy thingy, but it's lavender. I told you I'm obsessed with lavender. I'm painting, got my paint out, and I'm painting. It's Friday night, and I'm just vibing by myself. This is like, very like mature of me, you know? It's the simple things in life that make you happy. It's not, you know, the glitz and glam of things. Like, it's really the simple stuff. When you go so long, wanting it to be with someone else, wanting to experience those things with someone else and getting wrapped up in like, oh, I can't do it unless that person is around, then you start to take away things from yourself you're taking away your own experiences that you're allowed to have, whether you're with someone or not, you know? Like you're allowed to have those experiences. You're allowed to be happy on your own. You're allowed to be alone and be happy. People don't wanna talk about how when you're in a relationship, you're, amount you're amounting your happiness to how happy you and your partner are together, when you'd probably be happier together if you were happier separately, individually. That's none of my business, okay, so. With that being said, cheers to a Friday night. Clink, I hope you have a glass of wine out, a shot of Henny, something, uh, spiked water, something. And if you don't drink, some tea. Drink some green tea before bed, you know? It's good for your insides. But I hope you have your, whatever it is you're drinking on. And to that, we're gonna say amen. I uploaded my video earlier, so I got like my work done for the day. So I feel good. I feel like now it's okay for me to play. Like I've had work, now I can play.